everyone, it's Marie here. Right, today, um, possibly in a couple of parts, I'm going to do a um, craft along or how to video. Um, and it's going to also be my design team project for the old design shop. That's Julie, um, who owns the old design shop on Etsy. Uh, and I'll leave a link to Julie's shop um, in the description. And what I choose to do instead of making a journal this time, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to do some recycling uh, using some of Julie's um, digitals, really. So I've decided I've taken some uh, recycled envelopes, some used envelopes, which I'm going to decorate. And also, if I get time later, maybe in part two, I'm going to do an altered guest check, an altered playing card. I'm just using some packaging to make maybe a couple of tags or journal cards or something like that. What I'm going to concentrate on initially is the envelopes and see how we go. And what I'm going to use from Julie's shop is I'm going to use this little, um, these like paper dolls. You can see that one. This is called um, Dolly Dingle is a flower girl at Auntie's wedding. Um, so I've got that, uh, and I've already cut some of the girls out. I've got three. I've done three of the girls, and I've cut out some of the outfits. I've cut out this outfit, which is the flower girl one, with the little dog, and I've cut out this pink dress for the hat, and this um, stripy dress. So they're the ones I'm going to use initially. So that's Dolly Dingle. And then also I've printed some of the um, ephemera pieces. Um, this one's called Vintage Ephemera Children. Uh, Julie has lots of sets of ephemera, you know, in um, some are mixed and some are in a theme. And this is a children's one. So I've just printed a few, a few of them for now to work with. Um, I think I, there's quite a lot of pages within the set and I think I've printed about three pages here just as kind of a random selection to begin with if I need any more I can print some more but that's gonna, what I'm going to work with initially from Julie's um, shop the old design shop I'm going to be working with some uh, recycled envelopes and I've also got some book paper got some maps got some um, scrapbook paper and some music paper to do some backgrounds and along with that I've got my um, I've got some script stamps I've got some stencils and these are two new stencils that I've got from Mike Deakin um, Mike's got a YouTube channel and he also has a shop where he sells his own design stencils and also some digitals and other bits and pieces so I'll leave you a link to Mike's channel as well so I've got this like ink splat one and as well as having the um, the, I suppose you call the negative I don't know but anyway he's also included the bits the cut out bits that were in the in the splat so you can go around them as well as having the inside so I'm going to have a go at using that today and also this one I think it's like a mid-century something like that's called it's quite retro design and I might use this uh, this part of that stencil as well so we already did the um, I've got, these have already been sprayed with ink, which is not really important because the card's probably going to be covered up anyway. But I also used already used one of the uh, that ink splat just to have an experiment. And I quite like the way that's uh, turned out there, that ink splat. So I'll use some more of that. So I've got uh, three large envelopes and one that size. Um, all you know recycled so I'll be covering all the writing and everything else on that uh, so that one and this one I think no, not that, one. that one and this one I'm gonna make into like a double pocket like that which you can go into a journal and then with these two I'm gonna make some like a bag Make them into a little altered bag, put them in tags or 
whatever in there. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start working on these ones first. And I think I will work on the ones I'm making into bags and see how we see how we go with them. I don't know how much time it will take, but we'll see how we go. So I'm going to time it. So I'll do about 20 minutes and see how we get on, how far we get. And then I've also got my glue. I've just got some PVA mixture. I have a jar and when I get to the end of bottles or um, you know, tacky glue or anything like that, any of the wet glues, I put them in the jar, mix them with some water and I use that as an all-purpose glue. So I'll just put a bit of that in a in a pot. I've got a large um, sponge in case I need to do a large area and I've got a brush for my little areas. And I've also got a little liquid glue stick just in case I need to do any little bits and I've got my I've chose two distress oxides a pink and a blue um, a blending tool and I've got one of these I bought a stack of these after seeing um, I can't remember the lady's name I think it's Attic Lane on YouTube she was doing some uh, inking on the edges of uh, like tags and things and she'd recommended using these swabs just like surgical swabs you know for the mouth or you know when people can't drink and they can get some moisture from that um, and they're really cheap to buy there was a thing I bought a bag of a hundred off Amazon and they didn't cost very much at all so I've taken that tip from Attic Lane okay so I say I'm going to start with these two I'm going to make them into bags so and I've decided that for the bags I'm going to use Dolly Dingle and I've got three I've got three Dolly Dingles there so I'm gonna um, probably use two of them it's short of space here let's put Dolly Dingle over there right so first of all I need to prepare the um, Pair the envelopes and make them into make them into bags. So this is one that's come through the post, but it's quite um, it's got no postmarks or anything on it, and it you know it it was it didn't open didn't rip when it opened. But I'm going to be sealing that up anyway. But so that's a really good envelope. It's almost like new. This one had a birthday card in it, or and it's got mum on the front. So obviously it's off my daughter, but that'll be covered up. So that's fine. So this is a good envelope as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal seal this down and this down. And I think for this I'll use my um, liquid glue stick to seal these. Just have a thin. A thin line of glue. I'm going to best uh, put some glue here as well. Get those edges glued down. Right, so. Nice up that one. I'm going to glue this one down. I should probably work on these two simultaneously. This has still got the gum on it, you know, could have uh, stuck it with the gum, but it doesn't go right to the edge, so just use some of this and we can do it right up to the edge. So that's that one. These are all going to be covered. They're going to be covered anyway. So that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I had this idea to do something uh, with, you know, rather than make a journal, to do something like this. And then, as I often find when you have an idea, then you see that somebody else has done something similar. 
and you think, well, I'm not going to change my mind because I'd already thought about that. Just, you know, it doesn't mean that you, you know, obviously great minds think alike. Sometimes you think that people might think that you're kind of stealing their ideas, but I did have this idea in my head before I saw anybody else doing it. So anyway, I'm just going to fold this down at the top. Uh, about, that's about an inch and a half on there. I'll make the other one the same size. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over this, this horrible cold that I had. It's just, the cold's gone, just left with lots of locked up nose and things like that. It's not very pleasant. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So now I need to make this into a pot, uh, bag. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim the top off initially to make it so that it's open at the top. I'm just gonna take a sliver off the top of each one. both open at the top now. So I'm going to open at the top and seal. So I'm going to make this like a um, like a bag at the top now. I think we'll work on them both. I know one's bigger than the other. So what I normally do is I want to make a bag out of something else. Get the top, put the two edges together. And then just do a bit of shaping. You can do, you know, you can do a um, straight cut, or you can do a straight cut like that. Let's get rid of this bit then. So I just got rid of that bit. Now it looks more like a bag. Might actually put a, a half circle in there. I'll do that one. I'll do this one first. So I say that one's had a, a, did a straight cut, but this one I might just do like a curved cut. So I'm just going to put them together again, and then just go. Curved cut. And again, I need to get rid of this bit. So obviously I'm using the the children theme on this but you know you can obviously do this any theme you want the principle will be the same so this is just showing you how I do it and using ephemera from the old design shop so that's that so I think I'll get my circle punch and just do a couple of half circles on there So I've got my circle punch, which I can do just a half circle on the top of here. And I just roughly judge where the middle is. I'm gonna measure. I'm just gonna there we are, nice little notch in there now. I've also got a notch punch from a an envelope maker, but I'm not sure if that's big enough. But I'll try that on this one. So I've got a notch there, so we'll see how this turns out. That's okay. So that's just a bit of an alternative that I happen to have. 
So, they're both notched, both cut into like a bag shape. So now it's time to decorate. So let's move them over. Make a bit of space, sort of shorter space on my desk at the moment. So, okay, so I've got two bags um, that I've made from recycled envelopes. Just need to put a bit more glue in there, make sure it's all nicely sealed down. So, the front of the bags. Now this one's got a window in it so you could make a feature of that if you want to but I think I'll probably just be covering that up today. As I said these had already been um, kind of ink sprayed just put some I put some ink in a bottle and I'd already sprayed them previously so but that's not a problem because say most of that's going to be covered up anyway so um, so what I think I'll do is I think I'll do some stenciling and a bit of stamping to begin with so it's a little bit like a um, Call them like a like an art journal page. That's what I think of it as. So I'm going to use this splatter one because I like this. And bear in mind that a lot of this will get covered up anyway with the um, whatever we put on it. But like with an art journal page, you put it on and then you cover it up. So that's quite a nice uh, splat design. I like that. That looks good. See that there? So I think I'll do another one of them over here. Just using this pink Distress Oxide. which is um, worn lipstick, that one's called. Okay, so I've done a little bit of stenciling on that one. And then I'm going to do the other one as well, because I'm going to do them alongside each other. On this one, I think I'll use my new stencil, which I haven't used before. I haven't used that one before either. Not in a project, but um, my other Mike Deacon stencil. So that's really cool, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to use this uh, like lined one, and I think I'll do this one in the blue. And I'm not bothered about mixing up my um, what do you call them? The uh, oh god, I can't think of it. The ink blenders. I'm just going to use them both the same one with both colours. I'm not really bothered about them getting mixed up. I've turned out a bit purple. Not really bothered on this occasion. So that's that. Um, this is broken china and this is a distress oxide as well. I really like that. Just gonna okay. So that's a bit of stenciling done. So that might be enough for now. Um so again, I'll just move them to one side because I'm a bit short on space. Now this is obviously just the front side of the bag, so we'll be doing the back side as well. But we'll concentrate on the front side for now. And I'm going to use um, Dolly Dingle. And also going to put some background on. So I think I might use some book, book paper and maybe a bit of floral on the back of Dolly Dingle. Get rid of, I like to get rid of all the white when I use paper, I like the, the, the print to be in view. So I might put that there. I'll do something similar on the other one. I think this book page is okay. Sometimes it's best to check. There's nothing there that you didn't wouldn't want anyone to. You're looking at nothing offensive. Might put that over where that um. Why 
so I think I shall the other thing is with the wet glue now is we've got um, a water soluble ink so I'm just going to be careful putting this on I suppose you could put your layers on and do your stenciling on top as an alternative but as long as you don't get lots of ink all on the page should be okay so I've got that piece of text paper there and then I'm going to put this piece so normally I do one at a time but I'm going to work on both so you can um, I guess it'll be quicker in the end so we're kind of they're getting two for the price of one I'm going to put that one up the middle now. Okay, so they're both both glued on now. Let's clean up my clean up my workspace. Right, so that's where we're up to now. I'm gonna make sure they're still in frame here. Uh, I've got three Dolly Dingles prepared, so there she is, super cute, it's a bit like um, if you know, I never know whether it's Mabel Lucy Atwell or Lucy Mabel Atwell, but that, that's the one I'm talking about. So see even that, just like that, that's quite cute isn't it? I'm not sure whether two's a bit floral or not though. I like that, just the way it is. She looks good with a bit of oh yeah a little bit of floral behind Get rid of yep I like that because it's left quite a wide space on here I'm gonna on the edges I'm gonna use my little surgical swab thing and I'm just gonna ink this with the pink because it's pink anyway so see these are really good for like the edges like this so well I mean distress oxide is much um, it's much more kind of concentrated than the distress ink so you always get a good Color coverage no matter what you use to put it on with so that's really good that's going to be on there this one be on the other page so while I'm here I just want to put a question out to see what you think if you if you're a, you know you follow me all the time you know that I had a giveaway which I did the draw for on last Friday which was the third so I think it's the seventh today so it's not that long ago but um the three winners I haven't had any any contact from any of the three winners um I have sent a message to one winner through Facebook because I know she was on the um <coughs> junk journal junkies Facebook group so I did send her a message and asked her to take a look at my video <coughs> but nothing has come back from that and the other two I don't know how to contact them because I've never they never appeared on my channel before and um, so I don't know what you think but what would be the opinion but um, I'm thinking of doing a redraw I might give them till well, I might give, I'll give them a week, so I'm going to give them till this Friday, and then I'm going to do a redraw. So, you know, does everyone think that's a fair thing to do, or because you know, I can't wait forever. 
so um so yeah if you've got an opinion on that just let me know see what you say so i've got i've got that outfit and i've got this outfit and i've also got the flower girl outfit and she's got a little dog with her so i'm not sure exactly and then she'd have to have her little her little dog so you could go there maybe Quite like that so it was just a case of so i've still got one dolly dingle left there which i can use on another project <coughs> excuse me so i think i will stick this down so again i need to get the glue on so yes yeah, so, so you know if you've got an opinion on the um non claiming of giveaway prizes um i think a week's long enough to give people a chance to get in touch i say that one lady i had i did know of and i know she is definitely a subscriber to my channel and you know she comes along and I've, you know she's commented on things i've done on facebook and that in the past um but i wasn't able to get a response you know but people you know you don't know people could be on holiday there could be you know there could be something going on in their lives and you know they, they're not the last thing they want to do is check their social media but um i think there has to be a limit and i can't contact them so because if it's people i know and they win something off me i i just let them know and you know that's fine but if i don't know them and i can't i haven't got any way of contacting them then I can't do that, you know, so so that's what I'm thinking, just um do a redraw on Friday if I haven't if I haven't had any contact. But uh so if I'm back on Friday or sometime after Friday with a redraw then you know that they obviously weren't claimed. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't want to cover up all this text page, so I think I will. Yeah, I'll put that there, and then there's room for the dog on the side as well. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now at these. But now I think I might do a bit of stamping before I put the images on. So I'll put the images to one side, and I can use my pink script on the uh, pink ink on this one I think I'm just gonna do some random stamping I'm not going to use the block I'm just gonna kind of get some stamping on these uh, And this one, I'll use the blue pad and I'll use a different, uh, different stamp for this one. Just different parts of the stamp. All coming together now. Just want to check the time. So we've been going for about oh, over 20 minutes now. So I'm just going to finish off this front of these, and then that'll, I think that'll be it for this part because otherwise, the um, I'm in danger of shutting down on the on the uh, recording. So we don't want that. So I'll just get Dolly, Dolly Dingle glued on. I mean, they have the little tabs and things on these dresses, you know, for the 
I don't know whether any of you remember playing with these sorts of things. Depends how old you are, I suppose, but um here we have the little tabs to put the dresses over the shoulders, but I mean I've cut them off because these are just being glued on, so but this is very cute. Okay, so she's got a little a little pink dress. And she's got a hat, I believe. Yeah. And also the hats, um, you know, had a bit there, so you cut it out, normally just slot it slot it over, but I've just adapted that to uh to have it glued down. Is. Very pretty in all their glory there. So that's one almost done. Let's get this little dolly dingle glued on now. So I'm thinking if I'm going to do everything I've said, it's going to take me a couple of videos. But what I might do with these bags is this is the front side. I might decorate the back side off camera and just show you them when I come back. Otherwise, it's going to be a a uh, very hefty process so well it's the wrong way around actually I think I was going to put this one on the other one but it doesn't matter I was thinking about the position and I think I was going to put this on the other one initially but okay so she's got a nice um A flower girl dress. Oh, she, she looked pretty. Little Dolly Dingle. And she's got a hat. Just gotta get the positioning of this right. A little bonnet on there and then she's got a little dog who can go there and he's also got a little basket of flowers as well so flower girl and flower dog excuse me right so that's the basically complete them two um, I say I think I'll do the backside off camera and just show you what I've done, um, and then I'll probably I'll ink around the edges and um, just to finish them off. So that's the first part of my design team project um, share for the old design shop. So I hope you liked watching that and uh, I'll be back soon hopefully with part two. I'll see you then. Bye.